I come to you today asking for your help with a very pressing matter of importance to our blessed state of Arizona. People like me, the very most fortunate amongst us, need the help of the rest of you, the working sad, to put a stop to a secret sect that is plotting to flip the velvet line card of our social structure. I speak of those at Expect More Arizona, who are pushing their agenda of exceptionalism for the masses. <laughs> if everyone has it, it wouldn't be exceptional. Education in Arizona is perfect. Don't change a thing. We don't need more doctors, artists, or engineers, and especially not middle managers, whatever that is. What we need are more serfs, minions, and more people with the education level needed to follow my every command. I went to an Ivy League preschool where I learned calculus, world geography, and lordshipping, uh, how to oppress the masses for fun and profit. Let's face it, your kid will never amount to anything, so what's all the fuss about? If the children in your lineage were to continue their education beyond high school, where would it stop? I think that there should be an educational cap for the masses at high school or just below. A steel cap. I so despise critical thinking. It only causes people like you to question my authority and to attempt to rise above your station in life. That's kind of un-American. Just the thought of an educated electorate so frightens my beneficiaries. And as we all know, it is so much more expensive to deceive the people when they're educated. Let's be practical about this. A world-class education is a good thing, but not for everyone. I implore you, don't join the Expect More Arizona movement. Stay complacent. Don't you know there is power in numbers? Only disaster awaits quality education in Arizona. So please, keep your expectations low, real low. Expect less, Arizona, and get back to work. I'm Gerald, and I approve this message.